In this tutorial, we're going to open up the screenshot that we previously took in the previous tutorial, and we're going to do a little editing on it. So we'll go ahead and click the Start button, and we'll go ahead and open Paint back up, because that's what we're going to use to edit with. And when we have Paint open, we're going to go to the Menu button and Open. We're going to look in our Pictures folder, because that's where we saved it before. And we've got that screenshot that we had from the last tutorial. So we'll go ahead and click that and click open. And now we've got the screenshot back open again. So what we want to do here is go ahead and make the screenshot fit into the screen so we can see everything at once. Sometimes it's just easier to edit that way. So we'll hit this minus button on this zoom out in the bottom right hand corner. And it zoomed it down to 50%. That's the only setting it'll give us here. It'll, it just jumps between 50 and 100, so you can't really make that a, a more manageable size, but we'll go with 50% for now. So what we want to do here is illustrate the basics of just taking a snippet or a crop out of the screenshot that we've had. So let's say we wanted to show something like there was an error down here in the bottom corner that was popping up because we had a virus or some kind of malware thing. So what we want to do is grab the select tool in the top left corner and now we've got a tool that allows us to select part of the picture. And to select you've got to go and click down with the left mouse button and keep it pulled down and then if you drag the mouse around you can see that it creates this box. We gotta put that box around what we want to try to save or what we want to try to take a snippet of. So I'm going to pull it down into the bottom corner and it's going to fill the whole corner up and then I'm going to let go of the left button and now we've got a nice little selection there. So in order to crop the picture so that we just have that piece of the picture instead of the whole thing, we want to go ahead and click the crop button which is right up here next to the select button and when we click that it'll zoom in on just the selection that we selected. So now we can zoom up that a little bit. We can go ahead and take that to 100%. And that's about the size that it's going to show up on your screen or when you paste that into an email to tech support or whatever. So now we've got this nice little snip here and then we'll go ahead and save that. So we'll click the menu button again. We'll do our save as and our JPEG or JPEG and give it a new name and we'll call it screenshot snip and save that picture in the pictures folder. And now if we minimize that and we go to pictures, we've got another little snippet here. We can double click that and we can look at it here and see that we've got our nice picture to send.